11 to learn fractions. What is fraction? A fraction simply means part of a whole. That is, when we have a complete object, for example, maybe a rectangle or a loaf of bread, and then I divide this loaf of bread with the several slices. These are how many slices? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if I take one out of the six slices, that one that I have taken out of the six slices is, of course, part of the whole bread. So one taken out of six slices, we can write that in terms of fraction as one over six. This one is part of the whole bread. So one out of six slices of the bread. That is why I define fraction as part of a whole. Now this number here, one, that is written on top of this line, which we call over. This line is called the numerator. This number, rather, is called the numerator. Why this number is called denominator? So in this lesson, we are going to learn different types of fraction and the operation of addition subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. So here are some examples of fraction, 1 over 2, 3 over 5, 4 over 7, 2 over 3, and so on and so forth. So like I said earlier, the number below the line in a fraction is called a denominator. So this, 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 and this are called denominators, while the number above are called numerator. So we can have fractions that are less than one and we can also have fractions that are greater than one. Fractions that are less than one, which are of course the many type of fractions that we encounter in mathematics, they are called proper fractions. Any fraction that is less than one, that is, the numerator is smaller than the denominator, that kind of fraction is called a proper fraction. Why fraction whereby the numerator is bigger than the denominator? We call them improper fractions. And there are fractions greater than one. In such fraction, the, uh, the what is it? The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So here are some examples of improper fractions. We have 5 over 3, 9 over 2, 87 over 31. All of these type of fractions are improper fractions because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So now let's move on to basic operations on fractions. Fraction arithmetic is the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. Here we are going to learn skills and method that will help us to do those operations, like the operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So what are the steps involved? To add or subtract fractions, we must uh, or they must have the same denominator. Like the bottom number must be the same. If the bottom numbers are the same, you can add and subtract fractions. If the denominators are not the same, we use our knowledge of equivalent fractions to give the fractions a common denominator. On the other hand, to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators or the top numbers together we also multiply the denominators or the bottom numbers together. Why for division, when dividing one fraction by another fraction, 
the sign of division will usually change to multiplication. For example, if I have 2 over 3 divided by maybe 3 over 5, divided by 3 over 5, to divide this, this sign of division will change to multiplication. And when that happens, we will multiply by the reciprocal of this second fraction so that 2 over 3 divided by 3 over 5 becomes 2 over 3 multiplied by 5 over 3. And 2 times 5 is 10, while 3 times 3 is 9. So dividing fraction, the sign of division changes to multiplication. Then you multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Uh, we have some example here. We have example one. It says simplify the following fractions. Here we are going to do addition and subtraction of fractions. So for the first one, 4 over 7 minus 3 over 7. As stated above, when subtracting fractions, if the denominators are the same, we subtract the numerator. So in this case, the denominators are the same. So 5 over 7 minus 3 over 7 will be, we subtract the numerator, which is 4 minus 3 all over 7. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So 1 over 7 is the answer to that question. For the second one, 8 over 10 plus 3 over 4. Here, the denominators are not the same, so we need to make sure that the denominators, uh, denominators are the same before we can add this fraction. And to do that, we need to look for the LCM of 10 and 4. LCM of 10 and 4 is the lowest number that can divide both 10 and 4. And that number is 20. 20 divided by 10 is 2. We multiply the answer that is 20 divided by 10 is 2. That 2 we multiply it by 8. So I have 2 times 8 plus 20 divided by 4 is 5. We multiply that 5 by this 3. 5 times 3, which is 2 times 8 is 16, plus 5 times 3 is 15, all over 20. 16 plus 15 is 31, all over 20. So that is the solution to this. If you want, because this is an improper fraction, if you want, we can divide this by 20. So that will turn this to a mixed number. 30 divided by 20 is 1, remainder 11. So it will be 1 whole number 11 over 20. That is the solution to that. Then for C, first of all, let me clean this board so that we have space to work with. For C, I have 5 over 6, 5 over 6, minus 1 over 3. That will be, again, here the denominators are not the same, so we need to make sure that they are the same by looking for LCM of 6 and 3. That is the lowest number that divides both 6 and 3. And that lowest number is 6 itself. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Multiply that 1 by the numerator, which is 5 in this case. 1 times 5 minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. Multiply that 2 by the numerator. 2 times 1, which is 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. All over 6. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 all over 6. 3 here 1. 3 here 2 which is 1 over 2, okay? And let's move on to question D. For question D, I have 11 over 12 minus 1 over 6. Again, the denominators are not the same, 
So we need to do for LCM of 12 and 6. That is the lowest number that divides both 12 and 6, which is 12 itself. 12 divided by 12 is 1. Multiply the 1 by this 11 denominator. The numerator. 1 times 11 minus 12 divided by 6 is 2. Multiply that 2 by 1. That is 2 times 1, which is 1 times 11 is 11 minus 2 times 1 is 2 over 12. 11 minus 2 is 9. 9 divided by 12. Now, we can reduce this fraction to the lowest term because there is a number that divides both 9 and 12. Factor of 9 and 12. And that number is 3. 3 in 9 is 3. 3 in 12 is 4. So this fraction in its lowest term is 3 over 4. That is our for question D. Question E. I have 3 over 4 plus 5 over 6. <laughs> Excuse me. Here, the denominators are not the same, so we need to look for LCM of 4 and 6. The lowest number that divide both 4 and 6. That number is 12. In the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Multiply that 3 by this 3 up okay. here. I have 3 times 3 plus 12 divided by 6 is 2. Multiply the 2 by this 5 here. Yeah. 3 times 5. Which is 3 times 3 is 9. And 2 times 5 is 10. Over 12. 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 over 12. Again, this is an improper fraction, so we can turn this to this number. 19 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 7. The 1 whole number 7 over 12 is the answer to this fraction. Let's clear the board and solve the remaining one there. Lastly, question F. I have 9 over 10 plus 3 over 5. Again, the denominators are not the same. So I'll look for LCM of 10 and 5, the smallest number that divides 10 and 5, which is 10 itself. 10 divided by 10 is 1. Multiply that 1 by 9 plus 10 divided by 5 is 2. Multiply that 2 by this 3 here, which is 1 times 9 is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, over 10. 9 plus 6 is, 6, is 15, rather. 15 over 10. And 15 divided by 10 is 1 remainder 5. 1 whole number, 5 over 10. 5 in 5, 1. 5 in 10, 2. So our answer is 1 whole number, 1 over 2. That is that for addition and subtraction of fraction. Now, our next subtopic will be adding and subtracting mixed fractions. By the way, what type of fractions are mixed fractions? Mixed fractions are fractions that contain both whole number parts and the fraction part. So, we have some example here, 5 whole number 3 over 4 plus 3 whole number 2 over 5. So how can we add and subtract this type of fraction? Let's start with A. 5 whole number 3 over 4 plus 3 whole number 2 over 5. One way to do this is to first of all convert the mixed number to improper fractions and then perform addition of fraction as usual. So 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 3 
is 23. I have 23 over 4 plus 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 over 5. Here, these fractions, they have different denominators, so we need to look for the LCM of the denominator. LCM of 4 and 5, that is the lowest number that divides both 4 and 5. And that number is 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. We multiply that 5 by 23. 5 times 23, then plus 20 divided by 5 is 4. Multiply that 4 by 17. 4 times 17, which is um, 23 times 5 is 115. 115 plus 4 times 17, 68, all over 20. Uh, 115 plus 68, that will be 115, 183. So this is 183 over 20. 183 divided by 20. How many 20 can we get from 183? That should be 9. 9 whole number 3 over 20 is the answer to this fraction. When the second one has 7 O number 4 over 5 minus 3 O number 2 over 3. Let's clear this board so we have space to work with. 7 O number 4 over 5 minus 3 O number 2 over 3. We convert the mixed number to improper fraction first before we do the subtraction. So 5 times 7 is 35. 35 plus 4 is 39. 39 over 5. Minus 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 2 is 11. 11 over 3. Again, these fractions have different denominators, so we need to look for the LCM of 5 and 3, which is the smallest number that divides both 5 and 3. And that number is 15. 15 divided by 5 is 3. We multiply that 3 by 39. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. We multiply that 5 by 11. 5 times 11. 3 times 39 is 117. 117 minus 5 times 11, 55 over 15. 117 minus 55 is 62. That is 62 over 15. How many uh, 15 can we get from 62 divided by 15? We have 4. 4 that is 15 times 4 is 60, so remainder 2, 2 over 15. That is the answer to that question B. Let's move on to question C. For question C, we have 6 O number 3 over 4 plus 3 O number 2 over 5. 6 O number 3 over 4 plus 3 O number 2 over 5. Converting the mixed number to improper fraction. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. 27 over 4 plus 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 over 5. This fraction have different denominators, so we need to look for the LCM of 4 and 5, which is 20, the lowest number that divides 4 and 5. 20 
20 divided by 4 is 5. We multiply that 5 by this 27. 5 times 27 plus 20 divided by 5 is 4. We multiply that 4 by 17. 4 times 17. 5 times 27 will be 155 plus 4 times 17 will be 68 all over 20. 135 plus 68 is 203, 203 over 20. And 203 divided by 20 is 10. Okay, for question D, we have 9 O number 8 to 5 over 8 minus 4 number 1 over 6. Question D, 9 O number 5 over 8 minus 4 O number 1 over 6. Now converting this number to improper fractions, we have 9 times 8 is 9 times 8 72 plus 5 77 over 8 minus 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 25 over 6 we look for LCM of 6 and 8 that is the lowest number that divides both 6 and 8 and that number should be um, that number should be 8 times 6 48 48 divided by 8 is 6 we multiply that 6 by 7 uh, by 77 rather minus 48 divided by 6 is 8 we multiply that 8 by 25 25 6 times 77 is 462, 462 minus 8 times 25 is 200 all over 48. 462 minus 200 is 262, 262 over 48. And 262 divided by 48. Two sixty-two divided by forty-eight is five. Five O number twenty-two over forty-eight. Then we can reduce this. Two divided into forty-eight and four and twenty-two. So two here is eleven. Two here is twenty-four. So our answer is 5O number 11 over 24. That is how to add and subtract mixed numbers. Now we we'll move on to converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. How can we convert mixed number to improper fraction? As a matter of fact, we have done that in this example of adding and subtracting these numbers. So to convert these numbers to improper fraction, we multiply the whole number part by the denominator of the fraction and add the result to the numerator. So this 5 whole number 2 over 3 will be 5 times 3, which is 15, then 15 plus this 2 up here, that is 17 over 3. And for this 6 whole number 3 over 8, we multiply 6 by 8, add the result to this 3 up here. And 6 multiplied by 8 is 48. 48 plus 3 is 51. And this is 51 over 8. 
Yeah, and 2 u number 1 over 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, so 7 over 3. Then lastly, 7 u number 5 over 9, we multiply 7 by 9, add the result to, um, to 5. 7 times 9 is 63. 63 plus 5 is 68, so here is 68 over 9. And so it goes like that. Now, the next one is to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. How do we convert improper uh, fractions to mixed number? We divide the number output with the numerator by the denominator. We write the answer as a whole number. Then the remaining part is written as a fraction again. What do I mean? This 17 over 3. We know that 17 can divide 3 into 5 places as 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17 over 3. So you can see, meaning we have um, 17 divided by 3 can go in 5 places, remainder 2. Uh, So here will be 5 O number 2 over 3. Then 98 divided by 8. How many times can 8 go into 98? 98 divided by 8 is 12. 12 times 8 is 96. 98 minus 96 is 2. So that is 12 whole number 2 over 8. 12 times 8 is 96. 96 plus 2, 98. Okay. So for this 7 over 3, how many times can 3 go into 7? It goes 2 times. Remainder. One. So here will be two O number one over three. Then lastly nine over five. How many times can five go into nine? One time remainder four. So nine over five is one O number four over five. And that is that for converting improper functions to these numbers. And that brings us to the end of this class.